Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Raceline Customs. So we do have a bit to do on the cars today, but first off we need to get some new tires for CC. So let's go down to the shop and put some new ones on. Shirt, tires off. Balance on. Tires back on. Looking good. Let's get to it. So as you guys have just seen, we got the new tires for CC. And before I get into anything else with the cars, I just wanted to introduce you guys to the new day. So this here is Rocket. Now as you can probably tell by that corner, Rocket has a hell of a lot of buddy roll. Rocket is a 2000 Nissan Pulsar. Now, a lot of people love this. Rocket is a manual. The only problem with Rocket is the clutch is just about gone and the engine mounts are just about shot. The rear one's completely stuffed, the front one's just about stuffed, and the side ones are starting to get a bit worn, so I figured I might as well just change them at the same time. I'll pull over just here and I'll give these guys a little show around rocket. It's really windy out here, but this is rocket. Now rocket is not the cleanest car, that is for sure. Uh, hell of a lot of paint fade on the roof, quite a few dents down the side. Uh, an older lady owned this, and then a young learner le uh, had it, so it's got a fair share of damage. Very far from the perfect car, but really tidy interior. Only has 210,000 Ks on it. Sorry, I have a fly annoying me. Uh, let's pop the bonnet. And it is really tidy under here because, well, most of this is new. New rocket cover, new leads, new coil pack. Um, a lot of these hosings are new, been replaced, new battery, new intake, intake, sorry. Uh, the only problem in the engine bay is the uh, overflow reservoir isn't actually held into anything. Needs a badge, needs some panel beating, and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up really well, but this here is the maroon that the rest of the car is going to be going, rather than this. So this has like a shine to it, this is a bit dimmer. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a matte, it just wasn't painted right, so this will be going matte maroon with a black roof, new wheels, and then once we have done what we need to do with this, I will then decide as to whether we're going to keep it as the daily and keep it all stock, whether we'll modify it, or whether we will, well, go completely crazy with the modifications. I could SR swap it, these are... Uh, a lot of these pulsars did come out with the SR, as many of you know. Uh, this is the GA16DE, I believe. Yeah, DE. Um, really good car. Really has been reliable for the little bit that I've been driving it. I haven't had problems, apart from that clutch and engine mounts that are getting done really soon. So... Stick around and see more of Rocket. Let's go for a little drive and then head back home. So I don't know what I did say to you guys about her Ks, um, but she has 267,000 Ks on her. Uh, still been pretty good, like we're on dirt now. 
and I know my camera's moving around a lot, but we're actually pretty sturdy in here. Well, that is a lot of mud. Ah. And yeah, it just, that clutch makes it really hard because it doesn't like to go in gears properly. But once that clutch is done, this will be a really good car. I've owned a few of these Pulsars and I personally have never had a problem with them. They do really good, uh, really reliable cars and they'll get you anywhere. As long as you don't completely thrash the shit out of them while they're stock, they will. They'll get you anywhere. Oh, this part of the road is really rough. Oh, there goes that engine man slipping again. They do get a bit of tire rub. Uh, that's pretty genuine for these pulsars. Oh, this part of the road is really bumpy. get many people out here this is why I like to come out here it's sort of just up behind the industrial area some dirt roads I can just cruise along them not have to worry about it you get to see some really nice scenery out here and quite a few animals we get emus out here we get kangaroos we get a lot of them all right see you at home I'm going to go Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we did get a bit of it done. I uh, got 
all of the surrounding trims off. Uh, we got the bar out from across there, broke a few sockets in the meantime. So we have just stopped ourselves. Uh, it's about to rain. So we can't really do anything else until we get another kit of uh, sockets. Just because two of those ones did give in. I've had this kit for two years. Uh, can't do any of the front end or anything until I have a steel frame to put this on so that it's not sitting on those or on the stands. Uh, everything else is off from the back here. We got the fuel flap off. We're not taking any of the tank or anything. I've decided I don't want the diff. So it's just the wiring from in here, the pedals, the control arms, and the subframe. So, I guess that's all we can do today. Um, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and follow. Um, keep updated with the two Subaru builds and with what we do with Rocket as to whether we keep it, whether we sell it. If we do keep it, do we go uh, modifying it? Or do we keep it stuck? See you next time.